Hello friends, it's time for my third update on where I'm at with O2W, Order of the Written Word. All right, so this week was a big one. There were nights where I had two or three things that were happening after work. It was just, it was a lot. Uh, I started it off having a great meeting though with another paranormal YouTuber at a venue called Fufun Electric, which is one of my favorites. It's super cool. You can just tell what the vibe is right here. <laughs> I also got to do a, another sort of, you know, horror related thing. This was the launch for a new streaming platform. Really, really exciting. And I did some running around, more running around for Haunted Montreal, but got in a little bit of reading while I was waiting. <laughs> Always have to do that. Honestly, the whole theme of this update might as well be running around. I don't think I have ever used my Metro Pass so much. But I did get to do a little bit of work indoors, and this is a uh, sneak peek. Uh, well, not even, because I'm not going to tell you what it's about, but <laughs> I got to have a meeting with some of my favorite creative people because we have a big plan that we're doing for the new year, so stay tuned for announcements on that one. And uh, yeah, I went to the dentist. Thankfully, I had no cavities. That's really rare, really rare for me. My teeth are really annoying. <laughs> But that day I was working while I was out, so when I do this, I basically just, you know, I bring my laptop with me. Uh, if I have an appointment, I do that on my break, and I'm able to stop in at little coffee shops and stuff like that to do work. Um, I'm really lucky to be able to work from home. I'm super thankful for that. Otherwise, I don't know, I don't think I would survive. I was not made for the, like, office retail world, though. The last office I was in was pretty fun. But the commute was brutal, absolutely brutal. So I will take any opportunity to show off Montreal. Uh, fun fact, if you are newer to the channel, this channel used to be called Writing in Montreal. So it was about, you know, writing and Montreal. <laughs> Brilliant, right? <laughs> I discovered this gallery. I had never seen it before and it's free. You could just walk in and it had some really, really cool stuff in it. Lots of like... Um, street art, graffiti style stuff, skateboards lying around and these little um, little caricatures. This is on a construction pylon, I believe. It was pretty cool. If I had more time, I would have been there longer. So I'm hoping to go back at some point. And they also had this cute little, I think it was kind of their mascot. I saw him up around the city and gotta love a squirrel. <laughs> I got to do lunch out so i walked around a little bit more this was a sort of bigger day of wandering around and i took so much footage just because it was so pretty and i want to go back here at night with all the little lights it must look so gorgeous this is mont royal station they've got like a you can't see it but they have like a living roof on top of it and this is a little sugar shack with maple syrup stuff this was all on the same day. <laughs> Again, the theme of running around. But I picked this up while I was out, which was very exciting. This was Manson Day, the release of his new album, and it's amazing. That evening, I tuned in to the live performance of my friend Rennie's record release. I'm going to link her down below. And this is the market that we were at. We started off with a half table the first day, but no one showed up to take the second half. So we were able to hijack that second half on the second day. This was our little setup. We had a bunch of books. This was actually Stygian's very first market. Quite exciting. And it went really well. My friend Marcus helped me out on the table. He was my French half and he was awesome and got to pet tons and tons of dogs. There were lots of dogs coming through. The area is this cute little area near Jean Talon Market and I found this alleyway uh, book lending space. I am a sucker for these anytime I see them and this one was especially cool. And after the market on the first night, I went to one of my best friend's birthday parties. This is Austin. You see him every year, I think, having his birthday in November. Um, he's always a feature in my monthly challenge videos. That's his new cat, Albert, who is incredible. And he's a Maine Coon, so he's gonna be huge. He's only like seven months old. And the cat he lives with, Pearl, is like a third of his size her she's just adorable and she's full grown so it's going to be quite the contrast <laughs> and to wrap things up 
This is our full table on the second day of the show. We brought a cool little steampunk light. People really enjoyed the setup and we're excited about what we're doing. So it was a positive experience overall. And here we are, Tuesday, November 26th. And this one is gonna be a little bit of a short chat because I have a wild amount of things to do today, but you know, what's new? This last week was packed and I did not actually get more words in for a covenant of bones. I have fully accepted that this November, you know, running the first year of this event and trying to get Stygian to the next level, it's just not the month for concentrated writing. I've laid a lot of groundwork though for December, so I'm thinking, hoping that I can have a sort of cozy solo creative month at that point, which should be really nice. While I do not have words on Covenant, I do have some revision words from Sintera. That's actually what I was working on during sprints last Friday on Discord. I haven't made a big official announcement yet, but I think I've mentioned it a few times on Discord and also on YouTube, maybe during my lives, that I will be moving to the beta phase of Sentara via Ream in the new year. But I'll say more on that when November is wrapped up. But yeah, I was pretty much just prepping that to get ahead of the game a little bit and filling in some blanks. It's mostly in its semi-final iteration, I think, but I did remember I was fixing some plot holes and doing some rewriting based on actually visiting some of the locations I wrote about when I last touched on this. And I was like, wait a minute, is this uh, like 100, 110% ready to go for January? And apparently it was not, so I'm glad that I spent some time on that. And I'm probably gonna be working on it more this Friday and heading into the weekend. For that, I got the very precise word count of 1,500 words. Now, heading into the final week of the challenge. It's already Tuesday, so we're nearly done. And I will be hosting a number of events to take us right through to the conclusion. Friday, I'm going to be running sprints on Discord from 6 to 8 p.m. This is all Eastern. Saturday, I'm going to run my final sprints here on YouTube from 12 until 2. And that night, which is the final night of the challenge, the Montreal chapter is going to be meeting up at 6 p.m. at Notre Boeuf de Gras on Sherbrooke. All the info for that is on the server. It's going to be a big writing week. And on top of that, I am going to be doing a reading at an event called Livre and Let Live, which if you know French, it's a play on words, you know, live and let live, but Livre is book. And that's going to be really nice because this last year, I don't know, two years, I would say, has largely been spent focusing on promoting other creators. And so it feels good to get out and do some stuff for my own work for once. Oh, and keep in mind, we'll be doing our draw for a free write device on December 1st. So be sure that you are on the Discord so that you can get in on that. And if you have yet to try out our sponsor Scrivener for your writing, you still have a bit of time left. So I recommend checking it out. You can save 20% on your software if you join our Discord and check out our sponsor section. So that's my update. The next video I have out will be my final thoughts on the event and the month. Since I haven't done a major amount of writing, I will probably focus a bit more on the event as a whole, running it, the experience, looking forward, that sort of thing, rather than the writing that I did. The video should be out next Monday, the usual time, as hopefully we will not have any power outages. And with that, please remember to like, subscribe and leave a comment letting me know how you're doing on your challenge if you're participating. I will see you Saturday for sprints, but in the meantime, I hope that you are having a day that is just as wonderful as you are. Bye.